Hi, my name is Grant Locke. I'm a professor of geoscience in the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences. So we have 50 million tons of CO2 being emitted in eastern Canada, mainly in a corridor from uh, Detroit, Windsor, up to Quebec City. And in each of these circles, the minimum cutoff is 20 kilotons. Dalhousie's at 19, just squeaked under the wire so we don't get a little circle here for Dal. But these are the issues. So where are we gonna take that CO2? How are we gonna get it? The only and best storage reservoirs are offshore Nova Scotia. So this is a list of all the generation plants emitting CO2, different colors, mining, cement, biomass, energy, hospitals, metal processing like Defasco and Spelco. What are we going to emit here? This is part of the energy transition, which is part of achieving carbon neutrality is reducing our energy need. We don't need more cars because we're just using critical raw materials for that. What we need to do is reduce the number of cars and reduce our transport. We need to be able to have pipelines coming from Quebec over to the Maritime so we can store the CO2, but Quebec doesn't allow pipelines. So we really got some dilemmas here that take some leadership from government to allow this. Also the economic incentives because with the Inflation Reduction Act, which is basically the U.S.'s climate plan, they're coming up with incentives for industry to leave Canada and go to the U.S. And that's going to be a lack of jobs. So these are some of the issues we address in the carbon neutrality fund. How do we achieve our net 2030 targets and our 2050 targets? This is how many days we have to reach our 2030 targets, which is just over six years. Now, we're not going to make these targets in the time frame we have allocated. We have to move very, very quickly.